the matter back there? They having some kind of they having an orgy back there or something? Attic Music Review. I'm so happy to be with you tonight. I'm so happy to be able to bring the music that we bring to you each and every week. It's um, really a joy to be able to go out and seek out the music in the area that's bringing joy to live audiences and to be able to bring it to you in the studio and into your living room and bedrooms or wherever you're watching is just um, a real blessing to me. Tonight I have for you um, a wonderful young man that was actually nominated for a Whaley last year, which was the first time I heard about him. And uh, I've been chasing him down ever since to get him to come on the show. He has a band, but he's here tonight solo. I think that you're going to enjoy him as much as I do. Please welcome into your living room, Ben Charles of the Ben Charles Band. Hi, I'm Ben Charles. And uh, I'm going to play some music for you tonight. Uh, this first song, um, well, I'm going to dedicate it uh, <laughs> to my ex-wife. She gave me the inspiration. So this next song, uh, I tend to choose them all 
uh, when I play them on the same place. It's my little favorite friend, my capo. And the next song I'm going to do in this key is, um, I call it Jamie. Um, I wrote this uh, coming home uh, from Niantic one night. I got stuck on the bridge. And uh, this song came to me while I was waiting to get home and see my girl. <laughs> Jamie, can you hear me tonight? Mama, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. An agony calling as I'm falling back to the earth. Mama, right where you were. You said that I was always so mainstream and cut clean, running around like a man in a daydream. You did Things you didn't need to do, but somehow I still grew on you and you. You grew on me too. That's what you do, yeah. You grew on me too, yeah. Ooh, yeah. And maybe I'm a blind man, and my eyes are dark to the light. Mama, well. And if I was a written man, would the world still be so bright? Mama, ooh, yeah, yeah. You said that I was always so mainstream and cut clean, running around like a man in a daydream. You did what you wanted to, things you didn't need to do. Somehow I still grew on you and you, yeah. Grew on me too. That's what you're doing, yeah. Grew on me too. And that's Jamie. I'm gonna change the key. I'm gonna play the next song in. This song um, was written for my very good friend Leonard McRae. Um, uh, Lenny and I used to have a tradition uh, when I was in my early 20s, and we would uh, always go uh, fishing and drinking beer every Friday night. And um, <clears throat> uh, Lenny was a friend of mine all, all the way from high school on up. And uh, uh, the year of my 30th birthday, uh, we were out fishing, and we were on the uh, on Sandy Point. And uh, I remember I was sitting in the back of the boat, and I was uh, the only thing I was ever good at was catching a buzz. Uh, Lenny was the fisherman. So I was sitting in the back of the boat just kind of hanging out, and Lenny was up on the bow and just casting. And I remember that just thinking to myself, you know, this is, that was a good day, but I never realized that that was going to be the last time that uh, Lenny and I ever did that. He passed away when I was 30 uh, in the wintertime, and this is for Lenny. Sometimes when I drive, 
Well, I glance real slow to my side. And I remember when we didn't care. Not so long ago. And that old truck that we drove. Summer wouldn't come again, if you ever believe me, yeah, yeah. And I'll lose a friend, and I'll lose a friend. I never did, and I never will, and I'll never be the same again. And somehow, to me, it isn't easy. Just to let it be. In all I have, I couldn't see that the day was so small. So I remember you, old bear, with a smoke in your hand, a bottle in your jeans, and we're going nowhere. You ever believe, yeah, yeah, the summer wouldn't come again? You ever believe, yeah, yeah, and don't lose a friend, and don't lose a friend. I never did, and I never will, and I'll never be the same again. I never mean the same. Thank you. Got to tune this old wooden box sometimes. Uh, this song um, is, uh, I'm going to dedicate this one, uh, send it out to my good friend Erin. Um, <laughs> still good friends. Uh, she was the, uh, the one that got away. She was the girl that uh, in high school we dated on and off and on and off and on and off. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> I think the song is self-explanatory after that. <laughs> say goodbye together, say goodbye alone. And you can watch the weather, but it's set in stone. And she always showed me what I needed. Though I did not know to believe in A hard-loving woman and I was a hard luck man And sang by together, singing by alone And you can watch the weather, but it's set in stone I did not know I just to remember and had another picture on the wall But just like the great tower of Babel She had to fall Singing by together Singing by alone And when it comes December Free and easy I'll be gone Picture perfect in your mind When I Turn the TV off before you go. Turn the lights out, baby. Don't let it show now. Singing by together. Say goodbye alone. And you can watch the weather. But it's set in stone. So we say goodbye. Say goodbye, baby. Say
Thank you very much. Um, the next song I'm going to do is a cover. Uh, it's a song that I picked up uh, when I was living down in Fort Worth. This is by an artist called Charlie Robinson. I had a buddy back in 81 and we made ourselves a pack. We were heading for the new pipeline and we were never coming back. And well, we worked 80 hours making time and a half, but the grange was too damn hot. So we drove back home at the end of that week and we blew it all on shots. And I'll see you in Dallas. And if I ever get out that way, I'll see you in Austin, Houston, Fort Worth, Mall. But I won't have long to stay And if you're never out west, sun Oh, now nah, and you're feeling like slowing down I'll see you around, around my hometown Well, I played ball every single fall And I could run just like the wind I went to college like they asked me to But they didn't ask my friends I don't think I've seen a single classroom, but I drank a lot of beer. My buddy still like to listen to me, and I talk about that year, and I'll see you in Dallas. And if I ever get out that way, I see you in Austin, Houston, Fort Worth, Mama, but I won't have long to stay. And if you're never out west, son, oh, now and you're feeling like slowing down. See you around, around my hometown. I've got myself a little band, and we're pretty good, I guess. But I, I never learned how to wear my hair, and I never learned how to dress. And so I'm leaving on the last train, my mama. I'm never more to roam. I'm gonna pack my bags a little heavy this time And head my ass back home and not see you in Dallas And if I ever get out that way I'll see you in Austin, Houston, Fort Worth, Mama But I won't have long to stay And if you're ever out west, son Oh, now nah, and you're feeling like slowing down I'll see you around, around my hometown Take that off a second, and uh, next song I'm going to do is a pretty simple little tune I put together, um, and this one is for Anna. Pistols raised, debutantes and debutantes, baby, all around and all you see. Trying, just trying to find themselves A fool's gathering, it's a fool's afraid You're farther along, but there's no progress made Not I, da da na 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 yeah Can't you see that so, my friend? And everything means nothing in the end And bullets graze The heads of those who walk and disobey you Stare at them and say the God done be crazy. They're overmotivated, they be just thinking lazy. Who are you fooling? You're a lonely man. Just trying to find someone to understand. Da 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 She left town, she kicked around and found a baby northern down. We're hitting the clouds, now we feet on the ground. And everything's a changing, can you hear that sound? It's a whole new direction, it's a way to be. Will you find you, and I'll find me now.
Been about ten years now. I don't remember and I don't know how. I'm sure that she's still around, still searching and she can't be found. I hope Jim will always find the best. Leave me alone and I will find the rest. Da 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 Thank you very much. All right, this next song, I'm trying to tune up a little bit. This next song, um, people often mistake for Block Island. Actually, the name of the song is Rock Island. And uh, Rock Island was a section of Fort Worth. It was the north side of Fort Worth. And uh, if you hung out on the south side, you didn't go to the north side and vice versa. That's how it worked down there. Uh, I had a girlfriend, however, that was, uh, one of my buddy's sisters from work, and I uh, used to sneak over and drive on the outside of uh, the uh, old commercial airport on the north side of Fort Worth to get to her house at night. And uh, songs for her. City nights, and I'm driving. Ooh, Rock Island. In ten years, I've been in the highlands, and all the while you were in Rock Island. And Lady Bird, she sits at home crying. Well, she writes him down and keeps trying. I've seen the rain come down in the hills of Israel. Mama, who sing a light just to show the way? In Isaac Wall, the road of Ishmael. And I drive along in the moonlight. I never was very good with the timing. And I was on my own in the top of Rock Island. Oh, and Lady Bird sits at home crying. Well, she rides and down and keeps trying. Seen the rain come down in the hills of Israel. Mama, who was single light just to show the way? In Isaac Wall, the road of Ishmael. Well, 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 well. Mama, who, yeah, that'll be the day. Mama, who. City nights, and I'm driving. Ooh, in Rock Island. That's how that goes. <clears throat> Since I can play anything I want, she said, you I'm may. going to. You may. <laughs> I'm sure you know this one.
just yesterday morning they let me know you were gone and Suzanne the plans they made couldn't enter you and so I walked out this morning I wrote down this song I just can't remember who to send it to and I've seen fire and I've seen Sunny days I thought would never end And lonely times I could not find a friend And yes, I always thought I'd see you again Won't you look down upon me, Jesus You've got to help me make a stand you just got to see me through another day I won't make it any other way. Oh, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. And sunny days I thought would never end. And lonely times I could not find a friend. Yes, I always thought I'd see you. hours of time on the telephone lines to talk about things to come. Sweet dreams and flying machines are in pieces on the ground. And oh, I've seen fire and I've seen rain. And sunny days I thought would never end. And lonely times I could not find a friend. And yes, I always thought see you again. Okay. All right. Let me find my pick. Where did I put that? <laughs> Sitting on it. All right. This, this is a song. Uh, when I first started playing guitar to get back in the beginning, I was raised in a Quaker household. My father's a, a Quaker, <laughs> and my grandfather, and it, uh, I wasn't allowed to play rock and roll. So when I was a kid, I, I played basically folk music. That's how uh, I have kind of an infusion of uh, folk music and, and rock and roll and blues. Uh, I've been influences on me, but uh, one artist I was allowed to listen to in my house when I was a kid was, was Jim Croce. And um, this is uh, one of his songs. Out of southern Illinois, coming down home country boy. He's gonna make it in the city playing guitar in the studio. Well, he hadn't been there an hour when he met a Broadway flower. You know, she took him for his money and she left him in a cheap hotel. We hit on mama and dad, I had me call collect Because I ain't got a cent to my name I've been sleeping in the hotel doorway And the night they say it's gonna rain And if you, you only send me some money I'd be back on my feet again Send it in care of the Sunday mission Box number 10 Back in southern Illinois this to worry about their boy. Well, this boy's going home soon as he gets the fare. Well, as soon as I got my bread, I got a pipe up beside my head. You know, they left me in an alley, took my money and my guitar too. Well, hello, mama and dad, I had a car collect because I ain't got a cent in my name. 
Caught them sleeping in the hotel doorway And the night they say it's gonna rain And if you'd, you'd only send me some money I'd be back on my feet again Send it in care of Sunday mission Box number 10 Send it in care of the Sunday mission in box number 10. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next, I'm going to do a song. Simple little song. Um, I wrote this for uh, one of my high school sweethearts, and she had it. This was in the 90s, and she had uh, <laughs> she had a favorite dress she used to like to wear, and I swear she wore it two days, three days a week, but I didn't mind because it was wonderful. And the name of the song is Red Dress. She's waiting with her red dress on again And longing for tomorrow She's waiting on a friend and When she used to dream she cried In her small town world by the riverside Been down before Too dry and she can't cry anymore and This ain't how it's supposed to be No, not and I ain't who they think I am She thought she'd have him figured down by now She thought she'd always know the man And he came by With his friends just like before Well, he fell out of the car drunk But he made it to the door as he leaned on the screen and sighed, she went on to his eyes. I've seen it all before. Sorry, babe, I can't hear you anymore. And this ain't how it's supposed to be, no, now. Nah. And I ain't who they think I am. She thought she'd have him figured and down by. She thought she'd always know the man and She's waiting With her red dress on again And longing for tomorrow She's waiting on a friend It's kind of a short little one. This next song is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's called Sunshine. Um, often, sometimes when I write, I will uh, incorporate, sometimes if I have a bad dream, uh, or a reoccurring bad dream, I often will write a song about it, um, because that way it kind of takes the power away from whatever's bothering me and puts it in my, <laughs> my control, I guess, if I can control anything. But, uh, this song started as a bad dream. You couldn't just walk away. You were so high on rating. And all you better I'm off today. Is it better in Laredo? Well, I believe say so I believe you let me say it's sunshine baby on a new day oh yeah it's a new day oh yeah it's gonna be so fine it's gonna be so fine and I know baby it's your birthday today and somehow some way I'm gonna make it just right Right. Couldn't be okay. It's 
fate would not take us and is there something i could say where we couldn't as the great ghost tailored like a scarecrow no brick road in the end though it's the sunshine baby on a new day oh yeah it's a new day oh yeah it's gonna be so fine it's gonna be so fine and i know baby it's your birthday today and somehow some way So I'd stay away while you do your dealing and you smile every day. It's brighter when you're stealing. You keep raining, raining, searching for that feeling. And it's a sunshine, baby, on a new day, oh yeah. It's a new day, oh yeah. It's gonna be so fine. Gonna be so fine. And I know, baby, it's your birthday today. Somehow, some way, we're gonna make it just right. 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 Yes, I'd love to. Remind you all that this is a community of small shops, and if we shop at the small shops, such as The Hive or Sardis Comics or um, Monica's State Street Diner or any, the Eyeglass Last, don't forget her, if we shop, in our small shops, our mom and pop shops, we're gonna keep that money in our community and that's so important to our community and in keeping things here and building our network of community, which is so important. So um, just check those places out, would you? Hi. Hi, how are you? I am so happy to have you here with me. It's been a long time coming. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe I talked to you for about a year about it now. It's been, it's it's been, been a long, long time. Well, I'm glad I made it. I am, I am very glad that you've made it. Ben, your voice is one that I could sit and listen to for a very long time. I really enjoy listening to your voice. You said you were raised in a Quaker home. Yes. Was there a lot of music in the home? Um, if you were in my room, there was. Uh, <laughs> um, my father um, is not uh, wasn't really, wasn't like me. Didn't collect records and things like that. My father's, uh, 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 as he says, a gearhead. Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he likes to work on motorcycles and build motorcycles, mm -hmm. and that's his thing. I was a little more um, of the musician in the family. My mother, uh, she does play piano, and always encouraged me uh, to, to with my music. I yep. played piano first when I was a little boy. And uh, I graduated to, to the guitar, and I stuck with that. I was a lot more apt <laughs> for the guitar. You really? Yeah, but I still play the piano as a hobby. I was just going to say, do you still sit down and, and tickle the ivories every once I do. in a while? I do. I do. I, <laughs> I should do it more, but uh, I do. I love to play the piano. It's, it's, I do, it's, too. It's my favorite. I can't do it, but I, I sit down and plunk out. I'm at a very elementary level, yep. but I do it because I love the sound of the piano and I love the way. Do you find that um, songwriting is easier on guitar or on, on the keyboard? Uh, well, for me, um, on, the, on the guitar for sure. I, I write, um, I tend, uh, some people write by what they say a riff. A guy mm -hmm. will come up with a, a riff mm -hmm. and make a song around a riff. Um, I tend to, to write um, all sorts of different ways, uh, meaning uh, sometimes just a, a single notion uh, might turn into a song while yeah. I'm driving somewhere, and then I come home and I put it on, on the guitar. 
Um, so you don't sit down and force yourself to write. You, no, you I don't. You let your writing come to you. I, I told, yeah, I do. And that's why sometimes it takes me a little while to put, um, put another album together now. And uh, I'm going to start recording it uh, probably in the next couple of months. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, and... Uh, you, you do have an album out. Let's just let the audience know that yes. you do have an, an album out, and it can be found where? Where can we find uh, that? If CD we Baby, you can find yep. it. You can find it on Amazon.com. Now, would that be under the Ben Charles Band? The Ben Charles Band, and um, and it's a self-titled first album, so that's nice. that's what it says. It's the Ben nice. Charles Band, um, but if, you know, people... It, <laughs> the way the media is today, uh, YouTube's a great thing, and you can hear uh, my whole album for free on <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> so so uh, just so you know, I'll I skip you the trouble. You. But that's, but yes, you, you, let's not get me yeah, in trouble. It's yeah, a good thing. Yeah. We like free, and yes. and this show will be up on YouTube too. For those of you that don't know, we put these shows all up on YouTube after they air. So. If you miss an episode or you want to see an episode, there's um, almost 90 episodes of the Grandma's Attic Music Review up on YouTube. Just check it out. That little self-promotion there, I got to yeah, do that. Yeah, of, of course. <laughs> so you're with the band. Do you prefer to perform with the band? Or yes, do you do. like this solo uh, stuff? Solo, uh, I did that a lot when I was in high school um, mm -hmm. and college. Uh, in fact, uh, if you remember the old Mystic Drawbridge Inn, I do. Do you remember that restaurant? That was mm -hmm. my first gig, and I would play Wednesdays and Thursday nights, uh, seven till nine. All by yourself. All by myself, and I was uh, how old was I then? Maybe seventeen, sixteen, seventeen. Nice. And uh, very talented at that age. Well, to be I don't know. Stuff. I I'd have to go back and 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 watch because I don't. I, I'd like to think that I'm a lot farther beyond than I was in those days. But right. I I really I got out there mm -hmm. when I was young. Yep. I, I think because to entertain myself, even yeah. if I wasn't very good, but I got jobs and people hired me to play. And so over the years, I just kept doing it. Nice. Yeah. It's nice that you have that background. And you got paid by, by people? I, to I got tips. You I got, got tips. I got that's, tips. That's I played nice for tips. Now. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. So you were, you were um, nominated for a Whaley this past year. I was, yeah. How did that feel? It, it, well, it felt great. Yeah, it was nice to be, and I, I tell people all the time. I said, "Well, I didn't win, but I tell you, just being nominated sure felt good." Especially since a lot of us, a lot of us, I'm speaking mainly for myself, had never heard of you at that point. Yeah. So. Who is this guy here tonight? Right, <laughs> right, and yeah. then all of a sudden you were everywhere. Yeah. It was like people heard the name Ben Charles, and you were playing everywhere. Yeah, yeah. How did that feel? That must have just uh, been like I'm busting out all over. Uh, yeah, it, it felt felt very good. The guys I was working with, uh, we uh, we were working very hard, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it did. It felt it felt wonderful. It was very gratifying to. Well, it was it was in fact to tell you the truth, uh, my uh, agent manager uh -huh. <laughs> Charles Flynn, who's who's here with me today. Um, he. Uh, uh, he nominated me for the uh, Whaley's, and it was good because uh, it was at a time when I was saying, you know, this is a lot of work. Um, and I was like, y y you know, this is a lot of work. Am, am I getting anywhere? And so uh, when I was nominated for the award, it was a good confirmation for me at the time because I, I needed to be confirmed that, you know, you're going in the right direction. I felt like I was just shooting in the dark everywhere. And... Um, yeah, so it, I needed it right right at that time. Well, if you need any more confirmation on that, you wouldn't be here if you weren't doing <laughs> the right thing. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, um, I love listening to you sing. Thank I, you. Right from the first time when I, the first time I heard you, I was like, that voice, that voice is just, it, you thank really you. have a voice that, I appreciate that resonates with me. So if it resonates with me, I'm sure that it's resonating with other people. Yeah, thank you. Now, we know that Jim Croce is one of your earlier influences. Who are other people that have influenced you in your music? Well, um, I, I like when I perform, I like, uh, when I was a kid, I was an Elvis fan. Nice. That was one of the um, musicians I was allowed to listen to because Dad liked Elvis. Yeah. So I could listen to Elvis, you know. So he, the, it, I was in a very, very strict household. So my father monitored most anything that came in mm -hmm. into the, into his house, and uh, so Elvis uh, is a big inspiration to me. Uh, great showman. Uh, I love uh, well front. 
front guys, Freddie Mercury, yeah. the, one of the greatest front men of all time. Um, uh, and then when I play the guitar, though, I, I Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, I mean, b the guys, yep. Jeff Beck, the guys. The guys. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, they, yeah, they're all an un un influence to me. Uh, James Taylor was a, a big influence to me when I came. In fact, I, I sometimes think to myself that James Taylor taught me to play the guitar because that uh, I just I played a lot of James Taylor music when I was young and uh, that has fed into a lot of the, the types of music that I play is kind of a uh, a folky well in the, in the way that you write too I, I see a lot of James Taylor in, in yeah. the stuff that you write too yeah I, I, I really think he's wonderful he's been a big you know and I, he's got a son named Ben that's my age and uh, one of these days I'm gonna meet him <laughs> Oh, it's on yeah. your bucket list. Yeah, it's on my bucket <laughs> that's, list. That's not a bad thing at all. Yeah. Where do you think that you're going to go from here? Well, uh, one never knows. I, 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 seems like I. Where I, would you like to go from here? Where would, where would I you like, like to see to your know. music take you? Well, I, I would like if the albums were a little more recognized and not uh, pulled, uh, picked apart so much. Um, the next album I'm working on, I, I hope is my, remember Michael Jackson made Off the Wall and then he made Thriller. I would like to make my Thriller, you know, because the first album's kind of quiet. Yeah. Uh, we didn't get a lot of sales, um, which is why I, I really, you know, I don't mind promoting this. You know, go to YouTube, listen to it. <laughs> because, right. uh, but that's the way it goes today. People will take a performance and it, from here, performance from here, because now everyone has a, a video camera in their phone. Right. So there's, there's just so much stuff out there of me, which isn't really exactly things that I would have said, okay, you know, right. yeah, put it up there. Right. Um, I hope that uh, this next album really uh, makes a splash, let's say that. That, that would be my hopes for it. But um, I'm putting together the team right now that's going to actually go into the studio. I, I don't necessarily record with the people that I perform with, so I might perform a an lot album. Of, a lot of people don't nowadays. Yeah, I, I might perform an album with a group of guys that I might not want to go into the studio necessarily with, right. or for one reason or another, or for their reasons. <laughs> so, right. uh, but uh, no, we're working that out uh, this year, and um, I'd like to put a plug in uh, a place I, I love to record is at Riverway Studios in East nice. Adam. Yeah, nice. it's, a, it's, it's a great studio, and I, I'd like to get back there soon. Now, who heads that up? Chucky? Ira. 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 What's his last name? I, 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 don't I think know. I know who you're talking about. Yes, and Ira, Ira you're going to um, kill me. I'm sorry I forgot your last name. <laughs> that's all right. He'll hear that you plugged him. Yeah, that's, that's yeah a it's, a, it's a great so yeah, he's got a, I Recording is one of my favorite things. Before I, I started recording uh, in recording studios, I always would buy recording equipment and mm -hmm. mess with it and set you know rooms up like recording studios um, until I realized that I need to stop doing that because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> uh, I, I like to have all my stuff done professionally in a studio. Mm -hmm. I don't try to do any um, anything in the basement anymore, you know. That's too bad because some of your basement stuff is pretty darn good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> there, 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 there are some guys that are that are pretty good uh, doing that. I just was never, I could, I could never get the feel for it. I like to have. So, would you rather record than perform live? That, I, um, I thought about that when I first started doing this. I thought. Um, what I would do, my original plan was to get this music, like what I just played for you now, was to get the music together and get mm -hmm. it recorded. And I really was just thinking about maybe even selling the songs to other musicians for them to perform mm -hmm. or um, just working in the studio. But um, as uh, I kept meeting different musicians and um, we kept working up the songs, um, the draw for me to perform on myself it was kind of like, well, now I kind of have to because who else is going to do it? Right. Um, so I, I kind of, kind of got pushed into that a, a little bit um, as far as the performing. But I, I think, I think it, as as the years go by, I think I'd rather be more of a studio musician. But mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to be. You Are you open I mean? to helping other people put their albums out by working behind them? Are yeah. Are you open yes. to doing that? Yeah. If anyone who would, who would you know, like what kind, the way that I do things, mm -hmm. or, or the way that I write anyone who, you know, would be interested in, you know, any 
I guess anyone who's doing it. Mm -hmm. I would, uh, yeah, I would definitely be open for that to working with other musicians. I don't need to really be um, in the spotlight all the time. I don't mind being behind the scenes a little bit. That's a good thing. A lot of people yeah. have to be in the spotlight and they have to do what they have to do. No, I, I, I enjoy work. I, I enjoy working in the studio. It's like your own little world when you put those headphones on. And I, mm -hmm. I, I used to say when we used to um, record, uh, welcome to Benny land. Because once, <laughs> <laughs> once those, once the, yeah, once you're in there, you're in your own little world. Uh, I, I do miss some. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back in the studio. I can't wait either. Um, when should I start looking for that new album to come out? I'm hoping about a year. Yeah, about a year. I, I would say safely a year from now. Um, I think that uh, we'll be in the studio realistically in the spring. Okay. I, I have. Uh, I, I'm I'm working with another musician that I recorded with before, and we're trying to come to an understanding right now. Mm -hmm. As um, uh, Mr. Rick Stannard, who was on my um, first album is a, a great uh, studio musician. Uh, he's also a great tech. He does, he, he has all the pro tools. And yeah. what we like to do is, um, what we'll do is go into the studio and record kind of like um, old analog style, which is everyone is in the same room recording at the same time. We don't like to have click tracks and a bunch a of guys. A lot of people are going back to doing things yeah. that way. I, I like it because you, you, you a good performance is a good performance. The vibe is there. The and vibe it's is there. It's there's I a agree. magic and there's an electric in it when it when yep. it is a good performance. Yep, I agree. So, um, I, I am I am look, looking forward to that. Well, I'm looking forward to it, also, and I also have to say we're running out of time. So, um, thank you so much for coming to Grandma's Attic. I'm so thank glad you. to have you here. I can't wait to have you back with your new album. Please I keep will. me. Keep me informed on what's going on with that, and I let will. me know. And um, give me a date for the for the radio too. I'd love to have you come on my oh. radio show and uh, do some do some like to do live stuff. That would be great. Sure, sure. And will you take us out with a song? Sure, I will. Absolutely. Sure, I will. Thank you so much. While Ben is getting set back up, let me just remind you: we are in the dead of winter, and um, even though spring is right around the corner, it's cold out. If you have neighbors that are older, if you have neighbors with children, please check on them. Please help them out. Make sure there's food in their refrigerators and heat coming out of their radiators. It's important that we check on our neighbors. We're a community, and we need to love one another. So until next week, God bless. Have a really great week. See you in Grandma's Attic next week. Bye-bye. All right, the song's called Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, PA, Detroit yesterday, and Colorado even, and that's all right by me. She's down the road again, and driving in the rain, heading for the summer sun, I can see her and just see me. South Carolina, and I remember nothing finer pulled than yesterday. Do you remember me? I watched her lose her mind and slowly go insane. And she could tell you why, but it's so hard to explain. Whoa, why? I do believe, and I will see you again. Pittsburgh, PA, and Detroit yesterday, and Colorado even, and that's all right.